Hi, Jay. Um, when I got here, I just felt completely exhausted. Like I immediately felt like I dropped all my energy. And I'm feeling a bit like, how on earth can I parent my children properly when I wasn't parenting? Like, you know, I feel like it's hopeless. Yeah. So feel that emotion. You do need to feel that emotion. Many of us as parents do have this hopeless emotion that no matter what I do, I'm just not going to be able to do it well. Another reason, though, why your energy drop is there is a whole group of spirits here today who are facing issues with regard to how they've treated their children while they're on earth. Do you follow me? And that they're hearing a lot of what I'm saying to them and feeling more and more depressed, feeling more and more overcome. And many of you are feeling that emotion too as we talk about some of these issues, feeling more and more depressed and overcome with, oh, wow, like, wow, when does the news get better sort of thing? And the truth is that what we need to do in this circumstance is really long to God, pray to God about dealing with these emotions and also asking for God's forgiveness, right? Getting into a repentant state as a parent. Repentance, remember, is what opens grace. Remember we've talked about this before. Grace from God, or if you could think of it as forgiveness from God. Or when I say God automatically forgives, of course, but the feeling of love entering us, removing causal emotion, which is grace, when, when that, that will occur when we're in a repentant state. So if, if you feel bad as a parent, allow yourself to feel bad. Right? Don't shut yourself down and don't go into sleep mode and don't try to avoid it and run away from the issues. Just allow yourself to feel the emotion. And this applies to these spirits too. They need to allow themselves to feel, I was a bad parent, and direct that to God. And sure, most of us have got no idea how we become a bad parent. Do you know what I mean? Most of us have no idea how we even became a parent, aside from the sex act. <laughs> but aside from that, we've just got no idea what, what actually happened and why, you know, how we got these little children in our lives. And so most of us feel lots of confusion when it comes to parenting. <coughs> the key is to allow ourselves to feel those emotions. So don't shut those emotions down within you. When I first had to confront, obviously I have two sons, so when I first had to confront all of these emotions, I went through some fairly dark periods of my own progression. Just feeling my deep feelings of personal responsibility for what damage I've done with my boys. And I spent a lot of time talking to God about that. A lot of time talking to God to, to help, asking for God to illuminate within me the emotions within me that created these problems. Does that make sense? Allow yourself to do that. I guess I take a little bit of um hope from the fact that I know I can't do it by myself. Yeah. And I forget that I don't have to. Exactly. That's really good. Exactly. Yes. And then see this is this is the problem a lot of times we talk about a subject where we feel a lot of deep shame or we feel a lot of judgment at ourselves. And then we get into this state feeling like it's all hopeless. But in reality, actually, the opposite is the case. Now that we're facing the truth, it's the most hopeful that it can ever be. The time that it's actually hopeless is when we're not facing the truth and we're not wanting to look at the truth and, and see it, what, all the damage of what we've done in our lives. When we face the truth, that's the time when we get the most assistance from God. And that's the time, too, when you really feel a lot of love flowing through you from God if you connect to God in an instance. Right? So that's why it's very powerful for you as parents to go through these things. Yeah.